Hey everybody, welcome to another Epic Fuzz video. I wanted to make a quick video on the sample tool that you use to access your samples on your <clears throat> KO2 uh, EP133. I put the link in the description below and this is how you can easily drag and drop samples to your device. You can um, clear samples, you can put them however you want them to. <clears throat> um, they come in don't look at mine because I mess with mine, but they come in different per hundreds. So, like kicks, and then it goes to snares from 100 to 200 to hats and so on. So, what I did first, uh, when I first got my EP33, is I downloaded. So, you can actually click on one shift and then hit that download button right here it's a little green arrow a little gray arrow and then you'll have all those downloaded so what I can do then is I can actually take this shift and I can delete all of them and it'll say delete files and you'll say yes so that's gonna clear everything off of your uh, sample or everything off all those samples off and if you can see right here it shows the the amount of space you have on the device and I know everyone's limit limited uh, with the 64 megs but if you clear everything off and just add what you're, you're using then that'll save a lot of space and there's a, there's a look there's almost all the space available for me to add samples um, now these are ones that I sampled and they're showing up they're gonna show up like this if you sample it through your line in onto the device and I don't need them anymore so I'm actually going to delete these as well so shift click and then delete okay and then you can go through the others like here's the snares I'm gonna get rid of these and these hi-hats I'm gonna get rid of these And again, make sure you download all this stuff prior so you have them saved so that you can actually add them back on if you like. And here's a random sample that I'm going to get rid of. So now my EP133 is all clear of all samples. So you're saying, how do I get a sample on here? And it's just as easy as deleting. So I'm going to go to a, uh, let's see if I can find something. Uh, all right, let's go here. So I have some samples here. So you can bring them over one by one. So let's just say I'll bring this over and I'll put it in slot one. Just drag and drop and it's going to load up here and it's going to be on your device. You can bring them in one by one and you can also bring them as a group. So you can shift click, click on Windows and then, sh and then um, shift click like that. And you can also bring those over as a group like this and you can set them up there and then they're all going to upload to your device and that's how easy it is to load samples onto here I still think it's easier and more fun to sample them directly and line in uh, if you can um, but it's uh, makes it so much more convenient you can even uh, you can even uh, hear these when you click on them they're going to give you a preview hit space it also gives you a preview and you can use the up and down arrows as well on your keyboard so you can really use this unit the way you like you can fit anything anywhere you don't have to conform to the 100 for kicks 200 for snares or anything however you feel you want to organize your stuff you can just do whatever you want on this so that's uh, a quick tip about and one of the lot things I like about this and I do say it limits you because you have only 64 megs of space but I see it as it forces you to complete a beat because how many of you how many of us have so many unfinished beats and folders that we start a beat we like it but then we get distracted and start a new beat and then there's like a hundred unfinished beats for me this forces me to complete the beat because I 
I know there's projects, but I don't like using different projects. I know in order to start a new project for me, I have to clear this one out. So I'll track it out and finish it. I'm more inclined to finishing it. So if you guys have any other questions or comments, let me know. Um, post and hopefully, hopefully you, you're enjoying the EP. I've seen a lot of great reviews on it, a lot of uh, concerns, but for me, I've not haven't had any problems with the fader. I didn't even put my cap on yet. Uh, no problems with the speaker. Uh, I see some people saying that the power switch doesn't work, but mine has been fine. So I'm saying if you you know if you enjoy this unit, keep using it. And I think it's a great tool, and and, and I think it's you know it really challenges the big boys because you can produce beats that rival stuff coming out of the other units and i think that's all that matters at this point so comment subscribe uh, let me know what you think i'll see you next time for another epic fuzz video bye